Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Far Away. I'm going to show you how I'm doing it in order for me to overlap the candy on top of the red and not get anything else uh, with overspray. What I'm doing, I left the line just a little bit. I passed the black just a little bit. Then I went with a gray scotch bright and I'm starting to scuff everything down. So whenever I paint the candy, I know that the door is gonna be right here and it the paint's gonna go in there. I know that. So when I ever when I paint the candy, the silver, then the candy, it's gonna be overlapping this black. So when I take this tape off, the candy's gonna be overlapping the black. That's the way it's gonna stay, that's the way it's gonna be. So I'm doing that all over the edge. On the door, on the door itself, I'm not gonna be doing that because this is gonna stay black. This is gonna stay uh, just glossy black. But here I am. So that's what I'm doing right now. That's the way to do it in order to overlap the other, the candy color to the black. All right, so let me continue sanding this and preparing it I still need the bottom the bottom I'm also gonna leave a little I'm gonna pass the tape a little away inside and I, <clears throat> excuse me I know that the candy's gonna go in all right so let me finish this and I'll bring you back once it's everything's covered um, I didn't show you the fixing of the dents or anything because I have other videos that show that um, I know you guys are interested in the candy color, how it sprays, how it's going to be laying down. So let me just jump uh, jump right over into that. Alright guys, the car has been pressure washed, has been wet sanded, and it's ready to go. So I'm starting to cover up. I'm going to show you what I'm doing on the inside. Um, I don't want to take any chances, so I'm covering everything with, uh, with tape. Here in the edge, like I mentioned, um, I'm putting the some tape all along, uh, overlapping the black. Then I'm gonna I'm scuffing down the black. So when I take off the tape, once it's painted, it's gonna be overlapped. It's gonna be nice, and it's not gonna come off. So um, I'm also using the uh, the 3M, the. Uh, I guess the soft edge foam masking tape with um, on the corners on the on the edges. So I'm taping it up, and I'm also using that uh, 3M uh, foam tape. So, like I said, I'm not taking any chances. I'm gonna cover it up as best as possible, and uh, I'll give you a, a look after everything's been painted, so you can see that nothing went in. All right, so let me continue let me finish the the car I'm already masking it and uh, I'll bring you back once uh, the painting process is gonna start all right guys this is it this is the moment you guys been waiting for so everything has been uh, tacked off everything has been uh, wax and grease removed the front bumper cover has been added some uh, adhesion promoter as you can see it's nice and shiny right now and uh, it's ready it's ready to go guys so I'm gonna be adding the first layer of sealer and uh, sealer is you just need one sealer guys one pass that's it the sealer is uh, for me to get a uniform color and all the the vehicle uh, it does help with the adhesion but all in all the sealer is just to get a, uh, a uniform color I'm not going to have a lot of different uh, grays and whites and not everything all over. That's the only thing the, the sealer is for. So try to get the sealer as close as possible to your color. Uh, on this application, I'm going to be adding silver. So I'm going to be adding, adding a grayish uh, sealer. All right. Also, uh, I want to give thanks, thanks to Eric Swinson. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing your last name correct, Eric. Uh, thank you for helping out. And uh, for me to purchase that uh, that gun. All right. Uh, also, guys, I'm gonna leave a link below of uh, another YouTuber. Uh, it's called uh, Spray Away Customs. If you haven't uh, seen his channel, 
Uh, he and I have been uh, doing video videos for a while, so uh, check him out, guys. He's a real good uh, uh, painter. He also ha uh, does a lot of um, fiberglass work, so check him out and uh, subscribe to his channel. All right, all right, guys. Let me start spraying the sealer. I'm going to be using uh, 30, 29 uh, psi, 29 psi. Uh, to be shooting the sealer all right so let me get started
Okay, guys, this is the first coat of silver. Um, I'm going to put two or three coats uh, of silver. It depends on the the, the coverage, but uh, uh, this is it. Hope you guys, I know you're going to start saying, oh, you should have gone straight all the way on the silver. You're going to get modeling and all that. Guys, I'm not going to get modeling on the silver. This is the way I've been doing it for the longest time. Uh, after the third code or fourth code I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a control code what's called the control code which is going to eliminate all the modeling and everything on the silver right now it doesn't even have modeling but just to ensure that the, everything's been being covered the way it's supposed to I'm going to do that control code okay so the candy I am going to do all the way straight the candy you do need to go all the way straight you can't be stopping so this is like if you're just painting a silver car right now the candy is the one that's really gonna have uh gonna be a uh thing to see as to how i'm doing it in order for you not to get any modeling or anything on the candy or or any other thing so just uh bear with me and uh here it is there's the first code and i'm gonna show you the second and third code because it's gonna be the same thing so i'm just gonna continue with it and uh, I'll bring you back as soon as I'm going to start throwing the the candy. The base was thrown at the 29 PSI. All right, with the full, uh, was, I'm using the Iwata uh, with the full um, trigger open and the full fan open. I opened the full fan, then I closed it back up three three turns in. That's the way I set up the the, the Iwata. All right. So let me continue. All right, this is after the three coats of a uh, of base and the control coat. So uh, everything's ready. I'm gonna start uh, adding the the candy color. I'm gonna leave it to set for about 15 minutes before adding the candy color. So um, I already tag rag the whole car uh, because I need to get all the little residue and everything from the from the silver off before applying the candy okay so let me continue with the candy color
All right, guys, there it is. This is after three coats of base, four coats of uh, candy, and four coats of clear. And there it is, guys. Let me show you, see if I can show you with a flashlight how it looks. I know that the camera doesn't uh, pick up the vibrant color, but it, there it is. And there's no uh, blotchiness, there's no dif difference in, in color. Everything came out nice. That's the way you you do it, guys. Yeah, there's a little dirt nibs here and there. Uh, I think that fan's the one that it's causing it. I didn't used to have that much uh, dirt nibs, but it's okay. Uh, and yeah, there it is, guys. I will show you this um, this paint job out in the sun once I assembled everything. I'll make a video of it, and I'll show it to you out in the sun. Um, that's it. This will be it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. Um, again, guys, hit the link below. Help me out if you can. I'm trying to um, get that uh, Harbor Freight gun. So if you can, so that I can make a video and a review on it, I'll appreciate it. And guys, hit the little bell icon so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, hit the thumbs up, guys. That helps a lot also. Hit the thumbs up, share the video, and uh, guys, have a great week. God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.